Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for Scorpio. This is going to be from February 1st to 14th, but we just use the date as a filing system. So when you come across it is when you're meant to see it. Here's little Delilah. She's a little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel, so she just lays there looking cute in case you haven't met her yet. All right, guys, thank you for joining us. Wherever you are in this world, Scorpio, if you could hear my voice, shout out to you. Delilah Tiberius and I love you in case nobody's told you today. Let's get into this. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good. And I do mean the higher good of the Collective of Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. Show me, Scorpio. Here we go. See what's going on. What's up in the neighborhood? Somebody's somebody's watching somebody here. Okay. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They could be watching their dreams blowing away. I mean, this could be the one that's getting away or got away to somebody. All right. They're holding their heart like they're having a car whenever you rest, Scorpio. All right, here we go. Let's see. Show me. Anyway, they're trying to gather information. For what? Everybody's the fairy. Every, it doesn't have to be. This, okay. Maybe they're looking at you like the. Uh, this was um, some kind of financial. The Ten of Pentacles talks about, um, you know, happiness. It's it's some kind of um, fulfillment. It, you know, the Ten of Pentacles does talk about uh, legacy, stability, wealth, and privilege. So you know, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy. It's just like foundations. Somebody might have wanted to have like you know. You know, because also Ten of Pentacles, while it is financially based, it's talking about abundance, like a lot of abundance. So this could even be like somebody that's sick that they get healthy. That would be, you know, but, you know, usually Pentacles denotes money. So it's some kind of financial. Now, at the foundation of this situation, Scorpio, you have the Emperor. Aries, uh, energy for large and in charge. This is all four kings, the best attributes rolled up into one and then some. This is somebody who's very stout, all right, very sturdy. Okay, here we go. We have the Seven of Cups. So, being very discerning. Crowning you, you're going to be very careful about the choices you make, or somebody around you is being very careful about the choices they make. There's somebody here that's being discerning. You got coming in, Aries Leo, Sagittarius Energy. Uh, you could be getting a news or a message. This is uh, somebody who's very, they could be very immature, the Page of Wands. I mean, the Page of Wands could be ridiculously immature. They could be curious, energetic, um, inspired, you know, very alert all over the place. This is not a, this is somebody who's, um, you know, it's like a kid. And they're not, they're only worried about their happiness, you know, immediate self-serving gratification. They're not like really looking, and they're not really concerned about anybody else. So, now you have a page of swords and a page of wands. This page of wands happens to have a spyglass this big, so, yeah, somebody's trying to find out something over here. Here you go. Okay, four of pentacles. So here, somebody's holding back. They could be holding back any kind of wealth or monetary, uh, yeah, that they have. Monetary or materialistically, they could be holding back their thoughts, their words. I mean, the locks are up on the gate. Somebody doesn't want you in, and that's all there is to it. This is also being very frugal about spending money. Okay, in your environment, somebody's going nuts over here. This is, uh, yeah, yeah. This is somebody who's in their own self-imposed prison, okay? They're in the constructs of their mind, I'm hearing. But they're driving themselves crazy about something here. Maybe something they don't know. Maybe some kind of ultimate financial and, you know, long-term legacy, history, something. That maybe they held back from you. Maybe somebody held back <clears throat> or you held back some kind of legacy. I don't know. This is crazy. Show me. Aries energy, then we're discerning. Now we got a page of wands all over the place. This is like the craziest page. Somebody very irresponsible and immature. Somebody's holding back something here. Could be pentacles, could be money. Can be, Scorpio. Now, driving somebody crazy over here. And here you go, you got an ace of cups. Some kind of new emotional awakening. So this is, uh, you know, the butterflies represent rebirth. So this is some kind of an intimate or emotional, <clears throat> it's love, new love. 
I'm your new love, searching for that new love, someone to be. Is it King of Wands? Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius? The stern king, male or female. This is somebody who's very assertive. I mean, they get things done. They're bold, uh, even confrontational. They don't take nothing from any. I mean, they don't take no, yeah, fagaziness from anybody. They're nice enough. You can approach them. They're very charismatic. I mean, they walk into the room and King of Wands. Everybody's head turns, but don't screw around with them. Yeah. Oh, they'll take you out back. I'm hearing what? Don't screw around with them, but they're going to take you out back. This is something they can have Gemini in their chart. This could be like, you know, a significant love. Um, You need some rest. Somebody could be getting away with something. For Gazy, you're standing your ground. There's, yeah, there's, there's some things going on here, Scorpio. So you're going to have to make some kind of decision. It could be about a romantic relationship. Gemini energy. Be careful, though, because, you know, you, you could... don't make decisions when you're overtired or you need some rest. You know, and also, you know, because there could be somebody for around you that you're going to have to stand your ground against. Why? Because they want to win at all costs. Maybe take all your money and be successful with this. Just listen. Scorpio, I'm telling you something here. All right? Listen, Scorpio. This way. Show me, Scorpio. What are we doing for the clarifications? What's going on here? Wow, this is crazy. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay, so here you got the devil. So some kind of toxicity, maybe a toxic relationship. Maybe a narcissist involved in this. Somebody could be codependent on drugs, gambling problems. I mean, you name it. Somebody, they didn't have your higher power. You know, your higher good in their mind. I can tell you that. Here we go. We have yeah, some kind of some kind of judgment that's being called on somebody's ass. There's going to be a breakthrough here. Now, if somebody did something toxic to you or you did something toxic to somebody, whoever did something toxic, there's going to be some kind of a judgment call. It's going to be a breakthrough. This is something that somebody really had to persevere through. I mean, they got the Wounded Warrior card here. So they had, a, you know, persistence at least. It's the true grit. Again, with the Lovers card. Gemini energy for somebody that, you know, you're in a significant relationship with. You know, some of you could thought it was your soulmate or your twin flame or something. Or you still could be in this that maybe you're persevering through. I don't know. Here you go. You got, okay, so healing a broken heart here. For whatever reason, probably a third party situation, which is something that the devil would do to you, okay? And any pages, by the way. <clears throat> so, now we got healing emotional pain. Something is stagnant, though. It's not moving forward. There could be uh, some kind of feeling of powerlessness, like you don't have control of the chariot. Um, yeah, or a lack of direction. It's, yeah. Now, there is a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. So, yeah, there's that. They could have Capricorn in their chart. They could have Gemini in their chart. But this is the assertive king, somebody who's strong. Doesn't take no nonsense from anybody, right? The king of Wands, he's, you know, yeah. So you have it twice. Now in this deck, you know, it's male and female. It doesn't matter. If you see this one's wearing a dress, it doesn't, you know. So this could be, you know, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> you could have this in your chart. I don't know, Scorpio. Here you go. Then, oh, look at this. There's the king and the queen of wands. So this is your ultimate counterpart. This is your... Uh, they're looking away from each other, though. <clears throat> Maybe somebody you're not seeing eye to eye with. I'm going to tell you something about the king and queen of wands. You know, each suit goes together, so this is your divine counterpart. you got the lover's card twice, yada, yada. But the king and queen of wands have the most conflict. Like, let's say it's an Aries and a Leo. Like, they could get into a pissing contest. It could be a, very competitive. It's a It could be a very... You know, it's two fires. I mean, you make it you know, a blaze, I'm hearing. So, you know, it's hard. And then also it's hard for, for the feminine on the wand suit because it is a masculine sign. So a lot of feminines on the wand suit come off like they don't, you know, they're too strong. They're just too strong. They, they're intimidating. Listen, this is what it is, Scorpio. I don't know. You have a hermit here. So somebody who's got Virgo or Virgo in their chart, somebody who spends a lot of time alone, they ascend spiritually, they did the inner work, and uh, they, like, they have a higher power that they answer to. What's going on here? Show me. You have a king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, male or female. Some, you know, who's your father? This is this is daddy, all right? Could be a father figure, but, you know, it is um, somebody who's emotionally mature and stable. You know, they know what they want. They're very affectionate and kind. They wear their heart on their sleeve. They're not, you know, three, six. Now, let's go down here. Show me what this page of wands is doing down here now. Show me. So, some kind of, oh, painful ending. There's some kind of painful ending. Maybe they're trying to find that information about this King of Wands. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Oh, they could be tempering their emotions. So, now we have Sagittarian energy for, you know, again, spiritual. Maybe somebody who's spiritual. Somebody who's trying to be, um, yeah. They're trying to uh, keep a level, keep, 
This is Zen. This is not... Nobody could, like, really antagonize this person. They're above it. They're just, you know... Or maybe they're trying to... This is also... Temperance could also be um, an inner calm. It's harmonious. It's trying to be tranquil. Balance things out after... You know, be balanced. Because one foot's in the water, one foot's on the land. Of um, whatever painful ending this was. Trying to handle it in a balanced manner. So they don't lose their freaking mind. Like this over here. Right? Now, you got a knight of swords. Somebody coming in. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the knight in shining armor. They rush in, they rush out. All right? So, male or female. You know, it's a quick moving energy like air. You got to think of air. Um... You also have, again, somebody being very tired and needing some kind of rest or recuperation here. All right? This is somebody who's, um, yeah, they need to love themselves. They're resting on the chore to suit. This person, you know, this is the sort of truth they say. This person may, this is their sort. They could have some kind of truth that they're resting on. They're going to come in and like, you know, dun, 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 this is the truth to that situation. But some of you do need some rest and recuperation, or you might after this. Maybe you're going to get a truth. You have a Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Maybe moving slowly towards a financial goal or becoming the King of Pentacles. Um, somebody could be coming in to offer you a pentacle, or you could be on your way out to, you know, offer or make one. You've completed a cycle with this person. So if this person had Earth, <clears throat> Sagittarius, Air, yeah, you might have completed a cycle with this. They could have also had Gemini, Capricorn, uh, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius again. So you're using your head now, thinking smart. You probably have air in your chart, unless there's an air sign around you that's intelligent, um, very articulate, very perceptive, independent, constructive, maybe single. Maybe someone's coming in there single. I don't know. This one hit first. So this is, oh, they could have Leo in their chart. Somebody that, or some kind of happiness. Somebody's ready for their happiness here. Looks like it's coming. So that's good. Um, taking a new leap of faith, Aries energy. So there's an opportunity here for happiness. And you look like you're ready. You're like, bring it. Um, if somebody does, they're thinking about this. They're being very logical. Um, here we go. Now you do have, oh, you're going to get some kind of a truth. Or, yeah, this is nice, Scorpio. This is a key to something. This is um, the facts card. You're going to get some kind of truth that's going to make you have a conquest or a triumph. And it could be very healing. Um, you can find happiness and healing in this. And you could also, with the Three of Cups, this is about, um, you know, the Three of Cups talks about uh, celebrations or community or, you know, happiness, solace, and healing. So now let's see. We got this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. It's, again, with the Eight of Swords, driving themselves crazy. Somebody's driving themselves crazy. Overthinking. Okay, my nose is itching now. Here, hold on. Let me drop the card. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Where do you go? Ah, go. Hold on. Swap you. I'm not... I don't I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Here we go. Hold on a second. Oh, sorry, Scorpio. It is what it is. Got to get it. Play fair and square here. Okay, so let's do it again. Eight of Swords. Show me the Eight of Swords. What's with the Eight of Swords? Here we go. All right. The Eight of Swords is the Three of Wands in reverse. So there's some kind of... Maybe somebody's worried over what... Because they, there was a lack of planning. Or because they have... Somebody could have a fear of the unknown here. A fear of the unknown. That's what that looks like. So this is why they're driving themselves crazy. Well, listen, nobody's, you know, you can have a good idea of what you want to do, but nobody really knows what's going to happen next. So everybody really is in a land of unknown, right? So, yeah, there's that. Okay, so again, an ace of pentacles. Some kind of a new opportunity for resources and abundance. It's coming. You got the ace of, you got a, yeah, this is good. This is a good reading. Here, you got a queen of pentacles and an ace of cups. Very nice. How many aces did you get? Did you get them all, I think? You got the cups. You got uh, the swords and the pentacles. So there you go. Some kind of new beginning, a new emotional beginning. And it could have something to do with the queen of pentacles. Did you have the king of pentacles down here? I thought I saw him. King of cups. Let me see. King of wands. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is, you are going to be financially okay, right? And, you you know, oh, there's a new offer of emotions of love from some kind of an earth sign here. This is Emperor. Look, what I tell you, reciprocated off of emotions. All right. This is like going into like forever over here. There's supposed to be 15 minutes. Come on. Show me the kippers for this. I don't know, Scorpio. It's a convoluted thing here. There's a lot of you. Sick thick energy on YouTube. So doesn't resonate. Do not force fit on this channel. Message. Somebody's getting a message. Number seven. That somebody could be in despair. Number five. You have some kind of courtship. 
Somebody might, you know, yeah. This person's despair. They could be homeless. They could be hungry. They could just have a broken freaking heart. There's a mature man involved in this. Number five. And a community. 39 or 12. So whatever that is for you, let's try to get you um, a sound bath. Come on, give me this. Give me a sound bath for Scorpio. Okay, and there's 11. That's not helping. Uh, all right, hold on. Well, keep going, Scorpio. 37 or 10. And a child or somebody who's innocent or somebody who's immature, somebody who's naive. Somebody's child, could be this mature man's child. So let me see. Somebody's in despair, 35. They could be in poverty, right? Because that came out together. Maybe that's why they're in despair. There, there could be a, a mature man involved in this. There could be a community involved in this. There's a child. Somebody wants to court somebody, and there's some kind of sudden wealth. So I don't know what is going on over here. You got three. All right, so your sound bath is 333 or 111. There could be a false person around you. Be careful. Here, let's go. There's a kipper in here. It shouldn't be, so I'm leaving it in case it wants to come out. I don't know. Give me some romance angels. Here, your first romance angel is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Hold on. I'm not keeping that on top. Get that. Here. Scorpio. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Here we go. And you have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And you deserve love. You are lovable. At the bottom of the romance angels, it's flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Now let's get you one angel's date oracle. And uh, yeah, all right, here we go. All right, here you go. Number six, retreat to rest. Rejuvenation feeds your inner fire. All right, Scorpio, as convoluted as that was, thank you for joining us. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.